Good evening, YouTube. It's Thursday night, uh, the 4th of January, 2018. It's 6.22 in the UK. Uh, and I want to talk about the issues that people have been having with over-extrusion and cooling problems on the i3 Mark III. And has Joseph Prusia solved the issues? Well, came home last night from work. Um, didn't get much chance to get online, was a bit busy with family things. Uh, but late last night, uh, I managed to be reading through the, the Prusa forums uh, and there was a post uh, five to eight that evening um, with the title, Slicer PE Over Extrusion and Cooling Solved. Now this is a post by Joseph Prusa himself, uh, which does take a bit of getting your head round. Um, I'm no expert at all. In fact, the best thing you can do is actually go to the forums and read the post yourself. I'll put a link in the description at the bottom. Um, basically, what he says is, I'll read the, the first bit for you. It basically explains that the, the Bontech gears that are used to push the filament into the extruder um, have a certain number of E-steps, uh, but Slicer, the software, naturally over extrudes by little. Um, I'm reading this from a screen that's here, which is why you're not seeing me talk to you. Basically, what he said is, is that a calculation that was made for their settings for Slicer was slightly incorrect, which meant it was over extruding. And the cool because of that, or a part of that was that the cooling wasn't working properly either. Um, it's something to do with a um, it's how the Bontec works anyway, and there was a, an issue with the calculation, which meant you were getting problems with your, your prints. Um, you can't see this because of the amount of light I have to have on my face while we're printing, uh, while I'm filming, it means that you can't really pick up on it. But I'll put some stills on of this. This is a standard Benchy. This is the Benchy that came on the SD card that everybody gets with their i3 Mark III. Um, and there are issues. There's no two ways about it. The biggest issue is on the, the, the bottom of the, the bow of the boat here. Um, there's some problems with um, cooling, basically, and over extrusion. You, you can't, you can see actually on the photographs I'll put on, there are, there are definite issues, there are definite problems, there's, um, which people have been trying to solve. Uh, several people have tried a, a different fan mount. Um, to sort of circulate the air better. Um, some people have gone down the route, the route of actually looking at the software um, and to see if they can find an issue. And I think a few people on the forums were, were going along the right lines. Um, but basically, yeah, it, it wasn't brilliant. I mean, some of the stuff was fantastic. Um, but, but no, the Benchy, I tried three or four different Benchies, uh, always had the same issue. It was always this, this over extrusion on the front of the bow here. And I don't think it was cooling efficiently either, which was another issue with it. Um, overall, there's some lines, some ghosting. Uh, it just, just isn't what you would expect. Now, could this be because they were rushing to get the machines out for Christmas and everybody was maybe, you know, not putting in, not enough effort, putting massive amounts of effort in. But maybe they were just stretching themselves a bit too much and they were in such, uh, under such pressure to get the machine out and get everything out that, you know, maybe things just weren't perfect, you know. And I get it. I mean, I know a lot of people say, oh, well, I've paid all this money. I expect the machine to be absolutely spot on. I'm, I'm afraid I'm one of those that's inclined to, to say, you know, there's going to be issues. There's going to be problems. You know, it's a. Uh, a liquid it's an organic thing is 3d printing it's not buff this is it it all works it's brilliant it's constantly changing constantly adapting you know new things are coming out hourly never mind daily um but yeah this is so he's put this post on he explained what he's done like i say far better for you to read that you know most of it is gobbledygook to me but i think i roughly get the idea of what he's been doing so when I got in from work tonight, first thing I did, downloaded the, the link in, the in his, his post, 
um, installed everything grab the bench off Thingiverse rather than using one of the SD card just grab the file off Thingiverse stuck it through the new version of Slicer with the new settings at the same settings as this one was done at which was 0.15 I believe but anyway I've used the same settings run it through the, the new version of Slicer with his new settings in it and I'm printing it as we speak so by the time I've got to the end of this talky bit hopefully this will have finished and I'll be able to show you the finished print but I can tell you already it's looking fantastic it appears that he's t you know he's he's gone back into the office after Christmas he sat down with his tech guys and he said we need to solve this and to all intents and purposes from what I can see that's going on down here you can't see but it's down there it's behind me it's not don't no, not not that we all know that's a CR10 Blah. I can't get my fingers the right way. That we know that's a CR10. The other one's down here. It's it's down by my side. But all I can say is, is as far as I've got with it, it looks fantastic. It looks like it's come on a million miles. Um, I can't quite see how far off we are. Um, I'll just do one of those nasty jump cuts just while I pop and have a look and see how far how far through it is. Right, I've done a quick look. We're at sixty percent. So. We're well on our way, and it's still looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, like I say, I'll come back, we'll carry on once I get it off the machine, and we'll just see if you solve the issues. While I think about it, another thing I wanted to mention, he also did another post. Uh, I think that was also yesterday. Just bear with me. Yeah, that was Wednesday the 3rd as well at 8, 10 p.m. He's put some preliminary settings for simplify 3d up so that's another good thing he's he's explained that it's he, he's done it himself personally um and he's asked people to look at it and see you know if people can get some decent prints using simplify 3d i will be doing that because i am a simplify 3d user i use it with my cr10 all the time i do like it um so we, I'll, I'll give that a go in a later video and see how that works out. I mean, that again, that is evolving. That's morphing. Um, every time somebody uses his settings, they might tweak something a bit. And just so, you know, it might take a week or two for the a good base um, file to come through. But he's put it out there. You know, people are crying out for it. He's put it out there. But he said, you know, look at it. See if you can improve on it. See how it works for you. So he's been busy since he's got back after Christmas. He's clearly gone back into work, gone into the office and gone, right, issues, let's get them sorted. So hopefully we're moving forward. There has been another release of firmware, which actually I haven't done uh, the latest firmware upgrade that he threw out. Um, only because I started to see people getting slight issues with it, uh, prints pausing prints halting um, so I've just hung off doing that one so I'm not on the latest latest firmware uh, but I'll do that in good time and we'll have a look at that the next thing I want to do is um, look at the Raspberry Pi Zero because I know a lot of you are interested in that uh, I have three Raspberry Pi Zero sat here uh, one already with the pin soldered cor correctly to go straight inside um, I've got a, um, another couple which I haven't done anything with. I've got all the, the, the software on them to run them. Uh, but again, I'm just holding off on that until things start to calm down. It looks like people have got them working. Uh, but again, there's the odd firmware issue. Joseph Prusa is working with us to solve those problems. I know he's got lots of people on the forums that are working with him uh, almost directly trying to iron out the bugs and the issues and get it, you know, to a firm and stable situation. Um, and I know a lot of people are waiting for that moment before they sort of integrate it onto the NC board, uh, which is what I want to do with mine. I want it in there um, permanently connected. Um, but we'll wait and see. Anyway, I'll pop back when I've got this uh, this benchy off the machine down here and we'll we'll see. Okay, so here are some photos of the before Benchy. Uh, as you can see, there are definite issues with 
over extrusion and cooling uh, on the bow also on the stern there's clearly some um, ghosting uh, you can see layer lines um, really it's not what we were expecting now a lot of the other prints work beautifully um, that came on the SD card and stuff I've sliced myself has worked really well uh, but you know the first thing that people do it's it's one of those unwritten rules in 3d printing the first thing you do when you set a machine up is get that benchy done and to print a benchy off the SD card that came with the machine and then you get this sort of result um, clearly a lot of people weren't happy and understandably so because you know that the settings have been tweaked and this has been pre-sliced and this is their showpiece this is what they put on there to show you what this machine is capable of and quite clearly a lot of people felt let down by it but now we'll have a look at the benchy that he's done uh, that I've just finished printing and you can see the difference is utterly amazing um, there's no issues on the bow or the stern uh, the layer height looks a lot more consistent clearly the issue with cooling has been solved well certainly on this benchy uh, the print time doesn't seem to have suffered uh, it's taken approximately the same amount of time to print this as it did the first one um, but yeah the differences are just it's chalk and cheese uh, you can clearly see that whatever is done whatever magic he's, he's managed to perform has worked um, so we'll just have a quick sum up so in conclusion is it perfect no but have you ever seen a 3d print that is absolutely perfect with no issues at all but it's such a massive step forward um, perfectly acceptable by me whether some people in the community will expect something greater I really can't say but from a personal point of view I think he's he's nailed it He's, he's gone out there, he's done the work, put, put the time into it, and he's got the results. Um, so, Joseph, if you happen to be watching, thumbs up, mate. I'd do a Joel high five thing. Oh, my goodness. There's something seriously wrong with that, that lens. Um, yeah, well done, mate. And I appreciate the work that you've put in. Uh, ever onward and upward. Let's have a look at um, what we can do now with, with the other slicers. Uh, the other stuff you've put out there and see if we can move forward but yeah now you've stepped up to the plate you've done the job and we appreciate that um so that's it now you can see the difference go out there grab the stuff off off the forums uh off joseph prusha's own website off his own forums for the mark iii i'll leave a link in the description for you um thank you so much for watching uh thank you to all my new subscribers i'm up to about 132 now i think uh, which is brilliant. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm obviously doing something right and the content seems to be getting higher views now than the earlier stuff. So I'm very pleased with that. Uh, I'd just like to add, I have added myself to Patreon. Uh, I appreciate not everybody's got you know money to burn or to throw in my direction anyway. But if you have got a couple of quid that you can maybe sort of, you know, chuck in the hat just to help to do things like get rid of this awful light that makes me look like a beetroot. Um, and a few other bits and pieces because that's where the money will go uh, it'll go to improving the videos and into if you know things come out for printers if I can get a hold of them I can afford them I will do I'll do your reviews if there's something that you want me to review leave a comment in the description um, always like subscribe don't forget to click the little bell if you're a subscriber and then you'll know when fresh content is coming out like I say patreon link in the description Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again when I stick another video up when I've got something new to talk to you about. Thanks again. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.